So this is Arc Control for Ableton Live. Uh, I currently have it set up to manipulate this EQ, so uh, I can change the frequency of the EQ, I can change the, the gain as I'm moving up and down, uh, and the bandwidth of the EQ. Also, it's worth noting that uh, when I'm, these parameters are all bi-directional, so if I, if I move this, you can see it happening on the Arc. Uh, pay special attention to the, the bandwidth uh, control here. These uh, LED behaviors are kind of mimic uh, some of the basic, you know, like pan is going to be bi you know, bipolar and bandwidth is going to give you this kind of growing ring of light and you can have indicators or you can have like a, a volume indicator instead. Um, you can have multiple instances of this device running simultaneously uh, so I can switch tracks over here and now you can see I'm controlling volume and, and pan and the sends of this track. Uh, move over to another track. I can you can see all the LEDs update with the current value. Um, you can change the resolution of your knobs or of the encoders rather. So this is currently set to a very kind of low resolution if you want to do quick manipulations. But um, I can set the resolution higher if you want like fine grain control. So it's going to take a lot of turns of the encoder to change that value. Um, also, you don't have to use the arc in this orientation. You can say maybe you want it down on its side. So I can move it down on the side, click the right, and now I can have this orientation, or we can move it over to the other side, like so. Um, and um, when I save and reopen my project, all my mappings are intact. Uh, and uh, this is uh, available right now at my GitHub for free. So if you go to strata.com slash GitHub and go to, I, this is in the <clears throat> uh, GridLab section, so, uh, you can download it and use it today.